Hey, welcome back. It's Joe from the Joe Lifestyle. And today we're going to start our long, long overdue master bedroom makeover. We moved into our new condo in September of 2019 and we weren't sure if we we're going to stay here or rent the place out and move somewhere else. And we hummed and hawed about it for, oh, quite some time. And then this pandemic hit and we were put off by that just like everyone else. And we weren't sure what was happening with everything. It is now November 2020. It's finally time to fix up our master bedroom so we can enjoy it for at least Christmas. So as you can see, we've been using our master bedroom as storage this whole time. These boxes here, believe it or not, that's our new bed. And we got some knickknacks lying around, stuff that we just threw in here because we didn't know what else to do with it. And our closet, of course, well, that's a separate nightmare in itself, but that won't last for long either. We've ordered a new closet organizer and that should hold hopefully twice as many things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint this wall behind me here. We're going to put an accent wall up and the wife has chosen a nice matte black. She's the one that chooses all the colors because you know, she's got more taste than I do. All right, now that the taping's done, the rest should be easy. Well, that looks pretty good. And now we're just going to superimpose a design on there and we're going to paint over that with uh, semi-gloss black paint. But first we need to draw in the design and then we're going to tape it. Uh, finished penciling in the design that we're going to paint on. And now we just have a whole bunch of taping to do. All right, so we had to get this special type of painter's tape. It says it's for delicate surfaces. Um, and we'll see how this works, but uh, we've let that matte black paint dry for about three days, so I think we should be good. That was an extensive taping job. Some would probably call that a taping nightmare. But now for the easy part, painting. I was a little bit worried about this tape, but this tape comes as advertised. It's not tearing off the, the matte black paint, just leaving the sparkly, shiny, semi-gloss black paint. I have to say that turned out rather well. You really see it when the sun hits and then it kind of fades when it doesn't. Check out this bag of goodies. It's gotta be like a few hundred screws in there. Okay, so after unpacking all those boxes, I've laid everything out headboard, footboard, stuff for the drawers, parts of the frame, and these arch-shaped pieces of wood that look like plywood. And there's the legs for the bed and some more strange things. But most importantly, I've laid out all the screws. I think that's probably the key to getting this done as fast as possible. All 
All right, so I finished putting together the frame. I think the hard part's over with. I mean, this took a lot longer than it should have, but it was a lot of up and down, screwing around with Allen keys. I really don't like Allen keys anymore. And now all I have to do is put together these drawers that go underneath the bed, stick those casters on there and screw around with all those screws. But I'm taking a break. It's done. I'm not saying that's a colossal pain in the ass, but that took about seven, maybe eight hours. A lot of screwing around with an Allen key and putting together these drawers took a long time as well. It's pretty sturdy. You know exactly how sturdy something is if you put it together yourself. There's a lot of bolts and the way these drawers come out is kind of cool as well. I mean, they're, they're on casters and you can load them up. They're all reinforced. It was a good purchase, but a very time consuming project. And it's a good thing it's finished because the mattress just arrived today. It's the first time I've ever ordered a mattress like this. Uh, this is an all natural latex mattress. It's, we bought medium firmness. The thing weighs a ton. It probably weighs about 150, maybe 200 pounds. It even comes with an organic certificate. And really, that was a bigger project than I thought it was going to be, but it looks nice. We thought we had to move our dresser in here, but with the extra storage underneath this bed, I don't think we need to. The only thing we have to do now is wait for our closet organizer to get here. You know, you'd think you'd be able to order a closet organizer and have it installed within a week, but I guess because of this pandemic, everyone is spending money on their homes and we have to wait six weeks for this organizer to, to get to us. We hope it gets here soon because that will look a heck of a lot better than what it does. So we've been sleeping on this baby for about a week now and so far so good. No problems, we're loving it. Apparently regular spring mattresses are all sprayed with fire retardant chemicals because in the past I guess people used to fall asleep with their cigarettes in their hands. These mattresses from Natrell are made with organic latex and cotton. You can custom order them soft, medium or firm depending on your individual tastes. The company's got great reviews and so does their customer service department. I've posted the link in the description box below along with the information for everything else we did. And as always, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. We'll see you in the next one.